Now this may come as a surprise to some of you, but I'm not particularly fashionable. For the last few years, I've been incredibly into fashion videos. I, I watch fashion shows and fashion critics. I really enjoy fashion. In theory. In practice, something gets a little lost in translation because I am incapable of dressing myself. Not physically, because I, I know how to put on clothes. I just don't know how to put on clothes that look good. And then it hit me. I've got a YouTube channel. We could make this a thing. Over the last few weeks, I've been trying a new series on TikTok where I try and become a fashion girl. And it's been a journey. Um, I sometimes hit, I more often miss. So I thought it would be nice to take this idea and take it one step further. If the main thing that I'm struggling with is putting the outfits together, why don't I just hire someone? to do that bit for me. And it got me thinking, if I gave a professional personal stylist and a slightly less experienced personal stylist the exact same brief for outfits that I wanted, would there really be such a big difference between the two? Right, now I know what you're thinking. She's, she's changed clothes. She's got a slightly sheepish look on her face. She's probably about to do a sponsorship. Um, and you're absolutely right, but I really don't want you to skip this one and there are a couple of reasons why And the first reason is because the first a thousand people to click the link in the description down below get a month-long free trial of Skillshare I know exactly what you've been dreaming of and the second reason is because Skillshare is the longest consistent sponsor that I've had on my channel It completely transformed how I approach learning Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on pretty much whatever your heart could desire if you're into trying to keep your houseplants alive. There's a class for that. If you're interested in fashion, design, personal styling, if you're into digital illustration, there's a class for that too. I sometimes find that learning a new creative skill can be frustrating and I get very easily discouraged when I find things quite hard. And that's one of the reasons why I love Skillshare so much. Every single class I've taken felt like a unique and fun experience. For example, the class I mentioned earlier by Lacey Jordan, the digital illustration for all, discover, cultivate and share your unique personal style, really allowed me to start exploring illustration in an environment that didn't feel stressful. The class was incredibly easy to understand and I felt very reassured throughout the entirety of the process. To date, this is one of my favorite classes that I've ever taken on Skillshare. Skillshare can help you make 2022 a year of new learning, growth and connection through creativity. And if you're hearing that and thinking, yep, yeah, that's what I want, that's what I need. I've got something banging for you. The first 1,000 people to use my code LBAT will receive a free one month trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this part of today's video and thank you to you for not skipping it. And if you did skip it and you just arrived at that bit, that thank you isn't for you. Go back and watch all the nice things that I said about Skillshare. Then you'll have earned the thank you. But n not until you've done that. All right. <laughs> Thank you for supporting my sponsors, which directly helps to support me. Right, moving on. In order to make this a somewhat fair experiment, I was going to copy and paste the exact same brief in the content box for both stylists. This brief covered things like the type of styles that I enjoy, what I like wearing, what kind of events or situations I wanted the outfits for. The brief was quite long, but the main gist of it was that I wanted traditional, classic sophistication. I wanted looks that matched a color theme of neutral, or monochrome. Nothing particularly loud in colour, but a pop of colour every now and then was okay if it was tastefully done. Now whilst both stylists got the same brief, the more expensive stylist did have a bit of an edge, and this is because they also wanted me to fill in a Google form with all the different varying items of shoes or clothing that I did or didn't like. The more expensive stylist also had a one-on-one -on -one call with me, and this call was to last half an hour, and it was essentially to run over in more detail my personal style my likes, my dislikes, so that the stylist could get more of an insight into who I was as a person. And that would hopefully allow them to get a better insight into the kind of fashion and clothes that I like to wear. So I'm about to have a call with the more expensive personal stylist. I don't actually know how she's gonna call me because I haven't given her my number or anything. So maybe she's gonna set up a Zoom. This is such a great outfit to... <laughs> Talk to the new personal stylist in. We've got Steve Jobs on the top and uh, Frat Boy on the bottom. Do I even have Zoom on this computer? I don't even know why I questioned that. I mean, <laughs> 
two years into a pandemic, I don't know anyone that doesn't have Zoom on their computer at this point. <laughs> She was super cool. I am interested now to see how the $20 one compares. Now, both stylists were going to make me a lookbook of 10 looks. Within these 10 looks, there was to be one specific date night look. All the other looks were supposed to be everyday looks that you could wear going out for the day. They were supposed to be looks that were accessible no matter what the situation. So nothing too garish or loud. As well as giving them my brief, I gave each stylist a budget of 5,000 pounds. Now, to be clear, I was not going to spend £5,000 buying everything in each lookbook. I had made the decision beforehand to only buy three or four looks from each. The main reason I set the budget as 5,000 for each stylist was because I really wanted each stylist to be able to show what they would truly want me to wear rather than having to kneel to a budget constraint. I've just received an email from Fiverr saying that my order has been delivered, which means I now have both the expensive personal stylist and cheap personal stylist lookbooks. So what I'm gonna do is essentially blind react to them. Okay, I'm gonna do the cheaper lookbook first and then I'm gonna do the more expensive one. I'm weirdly nervous and I've just seen the icon preview and there's some hot pink in there. Some very bright pink. Okay. <laughs> okay. Surely not. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> For the most part, I'm very confused. Both stylists, I gave a very clear brief that I wanted classic, sophisticated styles you know, tailoring, neutral, monochrome color palettes. Maybe there could be a pop of color in there if it was done tastefully, but generally I wanted well put together, sophisticated, classic styles. Now somehow the cheaper influencer has taken that to mean I want an influencer aesthetic. Now, no disrespect to the IG baddies, but I wouldn't exactly classify that as classic sophisticated style. Um, I'm just a bit confused as to how my brief has given way to not one, but two rhinestone encrusted animal print bags. One of which has fringe. Outfit four is pretty close to the brief. Towards the end of the lookbook, it does get a bit more unhinged. <sighs> right, let's see if the expensive personal stylist can do better. I've just seen the preview of it and it's giving me, I go to an all girls school in the 1950s vibes. Okay. Okay. Okay, I love that. That one's banging. Meh. There's just so much going on here. So this may be another situation where maybe I'm just not fashionable enough to see why this outfit looks good. There are one or two, three maybe outfits in here that I, I would say are perfect. They perfectly match my personal style, I love them. Um, there are a couple in here that I think are very basic. And I think this also goes for the cheaper one. Like, I'm not a particularly fashionable person, but I could put together a, a little black dress with some pumps. Once I received both lookbooks, the cheaper stylist did tell me that if there was anything that I really wasn't a fan of, they would be more than happy to make a revision to and change it. And I did ask them to revise some of the outfits. And the main reason I did that is just because the more expensive stylist did have a lot more information on me than the cheaper stylist. And I felt like it was almost leveling the playing field by just telling them I don't really like pink. Um, <laughs> in all honesty, I guess you could say I'm a little bit underwhelmed. Some of the outfits are just a mess, I'll be honest. There are a couple in each lookbook that I just don't see working at all for me. There are a couple of outfits in there that I think are really cool, but for the most part, I, I am very concerned. <laughs> 
Now there are a couple of things that you may have noticed when looking through each of the lookbooks. The more expensive stylists specifically reused a lot of the same items from outfit to outfit. And a big reason for that is because during our phone call, I stated that I was a bigger fan of items that go with lots of outfits than items that only go with one. This is some insight that the cheaper stylist did not have. The more expensive stylist also sourced from lots of different brands. This is not necessarily the case with the cheaper outfits. The majority of the items from the cheaper stylist did come from Zara, so they kind of didn't really do a lot of shopping around. It was mainly just from one or two sites. And now we have to do the painful part. We have to buy the clothes. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Now, you know when you buy clothes online, when you add something to your basket, the website often gives you style recommendations or outfit suggestions to go with the item that you have just put in your basket. Something very bizarre that I noticed, for almost every single item in the lookbook that the cheaper stylist gave me, all or nearly all of the other items in the outfit were within the recommended to go with this item section on the website. Now, I'm not saying that this is what happened or what this individual did. Uh, it could be a pure coincidence, but I did find it a little bit sus. So I've decided that I'm not gonna order every single outfit. I'm just gonna order the best one, the worst one, and one in the middle, and then a wild card from each. So around four outfits from each lookbook. Do you know how much this has cost me? Now, I really thought by giving them a budget of 5,000 each, it would mean that four outfits from each lookbook would hopefully come in at just over a thousand. As you can see, I'm not very good at maths, um, which is scary given that I'm doing a degree in economics. Four looks from a lookbook of 10 looks that is worth 5,000 pounds is not going to cost 1,000 pounds. <laughs> this video ended up being the most expensive video I've ever made on my channel. Um, do you want to know how much it ended up costing? Over £5,000. Oh! Once I had ordered everything, it was just a waiting game for everything to arrive. And once it started arriving, it just didn't stop. Oh! <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This is outrageous. I don't think I've ever ordered this much in my life, ever. This is like the perfect picture of capitalism. I, the only thing keeping me from freaking out right now is the fact that I know that 90% of this is probably gonna go back, um, and therefore, you know, I'll be able to pay my rent this month. <laughs> it feels like Christmas, except I'm the one that had to pay for everything. Which, I have to say, is my least favorite type of Christmas. <laughs> I think the way I'm gonna have to tackle this is by opening all the boxes and separating them up by outfit so that I know exactly which items go with what because there is a preposterous amount of things here. Let's open all this and uh, regret our financial decisions. <laughs> Once all the items had arrived, it was time to try them on. Now, I wasn't really sure what the best way to do this was, but what I decided to do in the end was give you guys the, the ability to vote. Now each outfit has a number and I would like you in the comments down below to give each outfit a score out of 10. I'm hoping that enough people do this that we can get a definitive list from best to worst out of all of the outfits, regardless of whether the cheaper or more expensive stylist designed them. As a little bonus, if you would also like to say whether or not you preferred the cheaper stylist looks to the more expensive stylist looks, that would also be fun. It's like a little fashion show. I'll try on the outfits and you give them a score out of 10. Okay, it's time. I've organized all of the outfits. I feel like I am quite far away from the camera, but this is the only way you're gonna be able to see the full outfit. So I apologize, but I don't know how else I'm supposed to do this. I'm not gonna be wearing any jewelry for any of these other than this gold earring and I've straightened my hair just so that, you know, you're aware that I'm putting in some effort for this. I don't know whether I should do one of those edgy TikTok transitions for each of the outfits, like, you know, when you you jump and then there's an outfit change um, or whether I should just walk in like a regular person. <laughs> I don't know, we'll figure it out in post. Let's get into this. Okay, so the outfit's almost finished, but inside this garment bag is the most expensive item of clothing I have ever purchased. And just for a bit of context, at full price, this item costs five times my rent. Um, I didn't pay that for it. I paid a small two times my rent, which obviously is so much better. So, so much better. And the funniest thing is, when it arrived, it's, it actually arrived broken. Um, I don't know about you, but if I'm paying for an item of clothing 
that costs twice my rent. I'd like it to at least not be broken when it arrives. But that might just be me. To be fair, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I wish more than anything that I could keep it. But this video is going to have to do exceptionally well for that to, to happen. Um, so if you would like to help a girl out, please like the video. Consider leaving a comment. It is a leather coat by Valentino. It may not look it right now, but when you put this bad boy on, it is stunning. For obvious reasons, the tags are gonna stay on all of the items that I wear today, but you're gonna have to imagine them without. I'm just gonna tuck this one in here and we'll just pretend. We'll just make belief that I own this coat. So it is broken, as you can see here, this lapel button, it just kind of falls off. Whereas the other one is very much secure. Um, so you're gonna have to ignore that as well. Also, this is one of the only outfits that has a bag that I didn't get And the reason for that is because we ran out of budget and most of the budget went on this coat I'm gonna be honest. So this is the fit. If you saw me in the street, would you think I was a fashion girl? or Potentially pregnant. This is where we're at with this outfit. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be um, Is it good? That is another question. Although I do think that the sunglasses and the coat are kind of a fit just on their own. I do feel like I'm about to ask Neo red pill or blue pill. Red pill or blue pill, Neo. You decide. I do feel like this would be the kind of outfit we'd see a, a model wearing. Do I think it's screaming model when I wear it? Not so much. To me, it screams, I kill pheasants and live in a house in the country. I think it's the shorts. I just don't know who's wearing this, you know? I don't think I would ever think to wear this ever, which I, is, I guess is the point of a stylist because they're supposed to be more knowledgeable than you. I don't know about this one, guys. I don't know. What are you guys giving it out of 10? Let me know in the comments. Okay, moving on. This is the next outfit. I really like the shape of the top, to be fair. It's a, a little sweetheart. Take the coat down a little minute. There is a little bra strap on, di on display, but you know what? I've got about 100 outfits to try on, so I'm not changing bras every time. You're asking too much of me. I don't know if this outfit in particular looks like it's professionally styled. I kind of got this one because it's a more casual outfit and I feel like it's quite accessible in terms of the color matching. I do think the coat and the bag really add something to this because I think without them, they would be it would be an exceptionally plain outfit outfit. Okay, well this is a f something so far. These boots are the most beautiful boots I've ever seen in my entire life. I really don't know about this one, guys. This is kind of a bit of a mess to me. This is kind of reminds me of when you're a kid and you just play dress up and you just chuck on loads of different items and have no regard for where they go together because it's just make-believe. Um, this is not working at all to me. I can kind of get the, the corset and this top but I just don't get the brown trousers. And maybe that's because I'm not fashionable enough. Maybe that's just me. I just feel like there's way too much going on. Maybe this is fashion though. Maybe my outfits are just too simple. Moving on. Here is the outfit. There is a little bit of cat hair on the suit, but we're gonna ignore it. I love this. I think this is so cool. I feel very sophisticated. I think this is my favorite outfit from the $200 stylist. This is just a very me outfit. It's masculine, but it has like a bit of a feminine edge. I feel so cool. This is everything I've ever wanted from a, a suit vest combo. I feel like it fits me really well. I got the trousers in a size bigger than my usual size just because I really prefer it when my trousers are really loose around my thighs. I just think it's more comfortable. I think the stylist smashed it on this one. Moving on. I don't want to hear a word from any of you about how I look like your grandma's curtains, all right? Not a single word. I really do feel like this dress has potential um, if it was a different color. If you had this dress in this style and then you maybe just didn't do it in a yellow, I feel like it could be something good. At the moment though, I'm not 100% sure about this one. Can we get some opinions from the audience, please? So this is the last outfit from the $200 stylist. I'm now gonna move on to the ones from the $20 stylist and we're gonna compare. <laughs> This is outfit one from the $20 stylist. I feel like the more expensive stylist has done outfits that would probably look really good for a photo shoot. Whereas I feel like the cheaper stylist has done outfits that you could actually wear. This is very commercially viable. You know, you could wear this out. So I think this is gonna be more highly rated by a lot of you just because the fact that like, it's wearable. You could see yourself wearing this as an average person. I... 
I don't know, guys, I don't know. I just feel like if it weren't for the jacket, this would actually be quite a cute outfit. This is kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of really love this. The dress feels gorgeous too. It's a very like thick material, so I feel like I could wear it out in the winter. I love a little slit. I love a symmetric slit as well. I've never worn long boots with a dress before, but I do feel like it kind of works. I think the jacket actually kills this outfit in my opinion. I think it looks much better without it. If we put on something like, hold on, if we want to stick it with the leather, but put it with the dress, I feel like the long coat goes so much better, right? Am I being delusional? I might be. This coat is a bit of a power trip. Look, what? You haven't even seen it done up. Let me do it up. It's gonna blow your mind. It's not canon, but picture me in the Matrix, okay? Would I make that film better? Objectively, yes. What are we giving it out of 10? With and without the coat, please, because, you know, this coat wasn't, it wasn't authentic to the outfit, but come on, it should have been. It should have been. I just want it on the record that I personally do not understand why we would get a boot you know, warm insulator of the feet and then cut a hole for your toes at the end of it. Uh, I'm not very happy guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. I am feeling some distress. I feel like this is, it could do, you know, like whatever it is you wanted it to do, it could do it, theoretically. Then we add the boots. Wait for the best part. Then we add this bag. This bedazzled, sparkly zebra pimp bag. And as you can see, I am visibly confused. My shoes are also squeaking, which is great. I'm trying. I just have so many questions. The main one being, why? And for what? Scores out of 10, everyone. And don't forget to consider the squeaking toeless boots in that score very important this is the outfit i don't think it's as awful as i thought it would be but i just don't understand how any of the pieces go together unfortunately the shoes weren't available in my size but i ordered them just to show you them the shoes would not have gone with this outfit and the bag just is a monstrosity with this outfit i think if you didn't have this bag and you didn't try and wear those leopard print shoes the outfit on its own would actually be okay. I don't think this is a bad outfit. I do think the coloring on the skirt is a bit meh, but the style's pretty, and I think it goes with the top well in terms of the style matching. The top is very pretty, but it also costs 250 pounds. So, is it worth it? Who knows? Let me know what you think out of 10. <laughs> now, having tried on all of the outfits, I have a very clear favorite, and the clear favorite is the vest, suit trouser outfit. It was the most me outfit out of everything and it fit the brief perfectly. Now this experiment is done. I do think that the more expensive stylists offered looks that had a slightly more high fashion edge. They followed the brief closer than the cheaper stylist did and they had kind of a slightly more elevated level of fashion to them or at least in my opinion. The cheaper stylist provided looks that were more casual in a way that I felt like maybe they were a bit more accessible in terms of wearing them every day. Whereas the more expensive stylist definitely had looks that were Instagrammable, but potentially not the kind of thing you wear out on an average day. I do think that if you are someone who struggles putting together outfits or just has a hard time with fashion in general and wants to try and branch out their style, the $20 personal stylist was pretty good value. The more expensive stylist is definitely an investment and there were some outfits in there that I'm gonna say were too high fashion for me, maybe. <laughs> but my favorite outfit from this entire series was made by the more expensive personal stylist. Yes, granted, it was a two-piece set that was already available on the website. They didn't necessarily come up with it themselves, but I would never have found that outfit on my own because I didn't even know that brand existed. And when you're paying for a personal stylist that is expensive like this, you're paying not only for their knowledge of how clothes go together, but their knowledge of brands in general. They have a wider knowledge of the fashion industry and therefore may help you discover your new favorite brand. I am continuing my fashion journey on TikTok. It's Elba over there. There's a link down below if you want to follow me. There are also weekly uploads on my second channel now and I stream every weekday on Twitch. It's Elba over there too. Look at that, nice and easy. There is a new video on the main channel every month from the 15th during term time. This is a new thing that I've come up with just so you know when to expect me. Have a great day, remember to hydrate and uh, don't forget to subscribe because I could not return half of this stuff and my bank account is screaming. Like the video, comment, engagement. I need the ad revenue, please. Hello gang. <laughs>
Me and my rhinestone-encrusted neon pink bag have come to attend the party. My camera has just died. I did also order this one as a bit of a meme, but as you can see, it I cannot fit it on. It is very small. Neon pink has never been my colour, I'm just gonna be honest. I feel like this could be very cute on someone who isn't me, um, but it is on me. And I'm pretty sure I know what your score out of 10 is gonna be on this one. 